Hello guys, in this tutorial we will learn how to use our ESP8266 Wi-Fi module using AT commands. So this is the circuit that we will be using in this tutorial. Before I start with it, this is a series of tutorial in which I have explained you the very basics of ESP8266 module and we will cover how to use AT commands on our ESP8266 module, how to use our Arduino IDE and its libraries and board manager tools to program our ESP8266 module and we will lear also learn how to flash our ESP8266 module. So um, this is a microcontroller independent tutorial meaning that you don't have to know Arduino or pick beforehand to learn ESP modules so you can directly start with it. So if you're completely new to this please visit the link in the description of this video which will explain you the very basics of this tutorial. So here I have the circuit diagram of the project. You can build the circuit diagram on a breadboard or on a dot board. I would recommend you to build it on a dot board so once you have completely built it it looks something like this. I have built mine and I have uh, shown it through my webcam over here. So as you can see this is the ESP8266 module. I'll start with the circuit itself. So let's have this on one side and yeah here's the circuit diagram. So as you can see here we have the ESP module and the ESP module is over here. So one basic thing here is to program ESP modules using AT commands and Arduino IDE there are some specific settings to be made. So the settings can be done using this reset button and the switch over here. So here I have used some bursts for acting as a switch and the push button is over here. So now let's see how to use AT commands on this module. So let me power it on and connect it to my laptop. This FTDA board is connected to my laptop. So this FTDA board is a 3.3 volt FTDA board meaning so ESP communicates with the 3.3 volt system. So if you are using a 5 volt FTDA then it won't work. Make sure that your FTDA board supports 3.3 volt board 3.3 volt and this board does. So I have kept it in 3.3 volt over here. Now once it is connected to a computer you can use any serial monitoring device for our convenience I have used the Arduino itself because most of us would be familiar with it so just go ahead and open Arduino it's not mandatory to have Arduino even if you have some other serial software like putty or uh, TerraTerm anything will do you just have to have a serial monitor device over there serial monitor software installed in your laptop so let's click the serial monitor over here and it says COM20 so it is connected to COM20 of my system you can check it in the device manager <coughs> Excuse me. so here under the ports I have COM20 which means that my FTDA board is connected to COM20 of my computer so I have connected to COM20 so once that is done make sure that your baud rate is in 11,000 sorry 115 200 and you and here it is set as both nl and cr that is new line and carriage return only then the at commands will be working properly so once that is done press the reset button on your module so let me keep it on one side and open my camera okay here we have a serial monitor and here we have the camera now let me go ahead and press the reset button. So this reset button momentarily connects your RST pin of your ESP module to ground and then releases it. So when I go ahead and press it, you can see that there is some garbage values that have been pushed on my serial monitor and finally it says ready. This means that our ESP module is ready to communicate with our serial monitor through AT commands. So let's check it with AT. So when I send in AT, it gives me a command back OK, means that a successful connection has been established. Now let us check the firmware, AT plus GMR. So this is our firmware. So now let us put this ESP module in one of the operating modes. So there are three operating modes. One is the AP, meaning access point. Another is station, meaning STA for station. And another mode which will act both as AP and STA. So in this tutorial let me put it as an access point so that we can find our Wi-Fi device on our Wi-Fi manager of the laptop. So let us do it with the command AT plus CW mode is equal to 2. Am I right? Yes I am. Okay so that replies an OK meaning that 
the device has been successfully set as an access point if you want to know how these at commands will work and if you want to know more about at commands there is a document which will be attached in the link of this description let me show that for you so this document will have the complete list of at commands you can go through this document and get to know what are the different commands used for different purpose on how you can do some small projects with it so here i have configured as an access point meaning that this esp module will be acting like a router so let us see if i can find find it in my wi-fi devices yes here it is esp a3 a3 e7 so this means that my ESP module is currently configured as an access point and it is uh, acting as a router as I said earlier. So that's it for this tutorial. In our next tutorial, we'll see how to use the Arduino IDE to directly program over this ESP module. Thank you.